Hi, welcome to This Little Life. My name is Caitlin and I'm so happy that you're joining me today. And this is my second episode of This Little Life. I want to share that I am just absolutely blown away by the positive response to this channel and all the people that encouraged me along the way to just do it. And I wanted you to know that I read every single comment and was just absolutely filled with joy to know that you're interested in things that I'm interested in. And today I hope to bring you uh, one of those interests. So we're gonna talk about flower designs and I'm super excited about that. Uh, and I will start off by just briefly mentioning my uh, knit that I'm wearing because of course you're all going to be wondering. Uh, I'm wearing the cloud bow. Uh, which is just this beautiful ethereal knit with deep sleeves and a peplum hem. And uh, I knit it, this is from uh, Pom Pom Magazine. Uh, I think it's issue 40. It was a spring issue. And I knit it out of cake wool, uh, the her Surrey line and in the color is called Celestine. I was able to get this yarn uh, two years ago at Rhinebeck um, from Alyssa who is a dear dear friend and if you don't know Cake Wool you should certainly check it out. Uh, she hosts a Cake Palooza event every year the Friday of Rhinebeck weekend and uh, it's one of those events that if you ever have the opportunity to take advantage of it, I would say go, go, go. Her event is full of incredible vendors, such beautiful energy and creative people, uh, and it's just so worth uh, the effort to go there. And so uh, this yarn was gifted to me by Alyssa, and I just absolutely love the knit and would consider knitting it again. It was knit in single strand on very large needles, so. The gauge is pretty big. Um, I loved how her colorway just naturally striped. I had no idea it was going to do that when I knit it, um, but it really was fun because there are other versions of the cloud bow where people have knit stripes, but this just naturally occurred with her genius of dyeing. And I trimmed it in a little bit of, um, of scrap yarn that I had, or stash yarn that I had. And um, and I actually, I guess it was, it was leftovers from this, which is the Sophie scarf. And if you know anything about me, you know I've knit a million of these in all different weights, all different types of yarn. This one happens to be Lamb and Kids Todd in I believe the Lilac Dreams colorway, uh, single stranded. Uh, I certainly tie it like this, but I did want to show you one of my really favorite ways to wear it is I just take a gold um, stitch marker and I just slip it on like a bolo. So that's one of my favorite easy ways to just sort of style it. So what I'm going to do is press pause and we'll go into sort of my next uh segment which will be floral design i'm super excited to share this with you i will um i guess what i'd love to tell you about uh, my interest in floral design is it just really came out of sort of uh out of nowhere in some ways we moved to knoxville in uh spring of 2020 so as we all know that was deep at the beginning stages of the pandemic and we happened to purchase a home uh, that had an established garden and I was able to, since I wasn't working at the time, really go out into the garden and find what was blooming and I would bring things inside and I would just play. I would literally just play with flowers. And one of the things that brings me a lot of joy is photographing uh, my floral arrangements. So I did that too. And the more I did it, the more I realized that I just absolutely adore flowers and arranging them and styling them and photographing them and really thought deeply about the fact that maybe that's an area of um, uh, of a job that I wanted to pursue. So I did. <laughs> that's exactly what I did. I basically built up my Instagram 
uh, photos and really posted a lot of things and pursued a local florist in town and essentially said, please, please, please hire me. And they did. Uh, it's Flourish Flowers. And one of the things I was really drawn to about their business is that they have these vintage trucks, these Ford trucks that they've painted in beautiful pastel colors. And they have made it into a mobile um, flower shop. And so they also have a farm that was part of their business too. And so they would bring local blooms to that. And uh, eventually they opened a coffee shop slash floral shop. And I worked would work there as doing their daily delivery design work. So I really got the opportunity to just have wonderful flowers around me and tr tremendous support to just do it. And uh, I would get I get to pick flowers and make designs and send them out into the world. So that has been a really wonderful aspect of sort of my journey in terms of my love of flowers. Uh, I also absolutely adore photographing flowers, both in nature or you know cut flowers that I find elsewhere or uh, in botanic gardens. So uh, that's another part of my journey too is discovering that that's something I really love to do. So if you're interested in any or all of that, I encourage you to check out my Instagram, uh, which is my name, Caitlin.Wedekin, and uh, I will have all of that information in the show notes below. But uh, I certainly encourage you to check out my photographs, um, my floral designs, and my knits. So that's that's really, Instagram for me is really the gallery or the place that I uh, leave all of or have a place for all of my sort of creative endeavors. So I certainly encourage you to check that out. So let's get going with floral design.